Hey everybody, thanks for uh, tuning in to watch the video here. Um, here I'm going to show you how um, in Python using tkinter to create um, a, a notebook uh, in inside of your GUI. That's going to look something like this. So I don't have any widgets in here, but as you can see we have our main window here and inside we have what's called a notebook. Um, for, uh, you know, uh, gives us tabs. So I like using this uh, this kind of layout. It's it's a way for me to be able to condense a bunch of information in the same frame here. So because the notebook in and of itself is a widget. So these two tabs belong to the notebook, which is a widget. You give it your size within your within your main window, like you would any other widget. Uh, but it, it allows you to um, have another blank canvas, if you will. So. Um, without further ado here, we'll, we'll get started. Um, we're just starting with a blank window, and I will show you that here. Um, so this is the code uh, here, uh, just giving us a blank window. Um, and right here we're defining our grid. So uh, we have white, uh, white space that we can use. We can move our notebook around if we want to, uh, etc. So... Uh, in order to uh, get a notebook created, uh, first we're going to need to import TTK. It's a module that will allow us to do that. And it doesn't matter really where we put this as long as within our main loop. I like to put it below where I define my, uh, my grid. Uh, and we'll just need to create the notebook object. So NB, well, uh, I'll just call it NB TTK notebook is what it's going to use. We're going to attach it to main. So this is creating notebook object and attaching it to our main window. So then I'm going to uh, place it out. So uh, using grid, place it in row one, column zero, column span of 50. Row span equals 49, and so um, just go through th go through this for you here in case you don't understand what's going on um, in depth here with grid. So what we're doing it is we're placing it in row one, column zero. Uh, so that's going to be um, Technically, the second row because it starts row the rows and columns start in zero. So it's going to be the second row and the first column, and we're going to allow it to span a total of 50 columns, so all the way down to our bottom because we define 50 uh, 50 cells in our grid, 50 by 50, and then we're going to row span at 49 columns because we technically started in column two, and then we're going to expand it in all directions northeast southwest basically means up down left right so that's going to place our grid uh, and then what we're gonna wanna do is uh, create an object for uh, each each tab within w w within the notebook so um, we'll just call it page one for the f for the first tab page one equals ttk dot frame we're going to attach that frame to notebook, right? So uh, we're, we're attaching our, our, our tab into the notebook, which is attached to main, right? So, so we're attaching page one to the notebook, uh, which the notebook is attached to the main window. And we're going to have to add that in. So um, notebook.add page one uh, which is right here and we're gonna put uh, we're gonna define some text and we'll just call it tab one right okay. so we're gonna stop here and going to run it and as we can see here we have our first tab 
Um, now, this may be hard to see considering I don't have um, any widgets or any, uh, any color differences, um, but as you can see, there's a subtle line here that's, that's, showing, uh, that's showing us that this is the start of our tab. Now, behind here, above this subtle line, this is our, uh, that's part of our initial frame that we started with, that, that blank canvas I first showed you. That's actually that. So if I put a widget up there in, in row 0, right, you would see it. If I put it in row 10 down here somewhere, you wouldn't see it. So um, to better illustrate this, uh, this for you, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually shrink the entire notebook so you're going to be able to see the bottom and the left-hand side. So um, if I take the column span down uh, 10 columns and take the row span down another 10 columns, rerun it, so you can see our notebook just got a lot smaller. Now we can see exactly where our notebook is. Okay, so I'm going to leave it like this just so you can, uh, just so you can see, just so you can see what's going to happen when we add our second one here. So I'm going to add a uh, page two here. So I'm going to define that page two, and that's going to be just the same as up here. And we're going to add that as well. So nb dot add. And we're going to attach that to page one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're going to attach page two and call it text, uh, uh, define a text tab two. Okay. So now we're going to rerun this. And as you can see, we still have the same size window, right? Because this is our notebook. All the tabs belong to the notebook. And tab one, tab two, as you can see, when we click on tab two, it it kind of illustrates for us that we're over tab one, right? So as we see, we can go back and forth, and um, our frame for uh, our, our widget frame for the uh, for the notebook does not change at all, right? And because we defined our uh, because we defined our grid within uh, the window, um, it scales for us. So um, what I'll do is I'll just bring this back out. Um, I'll span it the full uh, 50 columns, but I'm going to, yeah, I'll, I'll just span it all the way. Right, so now we don't see the edges anymore because our notebook is, is, is allowed to take up the rest of the available space within our root window, okay? So that's really all it, all it is to create a notebook uh you know, uh, in, in using TK enter, um, not not terribly difficult. Um, so let's say we want to add a widget to um, uh, to page one of our notebook, right? So uh, we wouldn't attach it to our uh, we wouldn't attach it to our our main window we would attach it directly to the notebook page. So if we wanted to add something to page one, we would uh, attach it directly to page one because that would, that would allow it to display and not display depending on when, uh, depending on what tab we're viewing at that time. So that's really it. Um, uh, if you like this video, please uh, please like or subscribe. I will have the code for this um, so you can copy and paste it on my website. I have a link for that below. Um, check it out. There's uh, some other Python tutorials and some other, some other good stuff on there. So uh, thanks again for watching. Um, uh, take it easy, guys.